Lads, we're on the new patch. Fizz has been buffed. Mango Fish, he's the number one Fizz in China. Probably the entire world here. Testing out the new buffed Fizz. Essentially, I'll put the buff up on the screen. Um, essentially, guys, you're getting an extra 15% ability power on your E. This is so massive late game for a champion like Fizz that likes to get the Magi's into the death cap. Um, it definitely is helping the champion out in a meta where Fizz is actually very good. He plays well into immobile mages. He plays well into things like Silas. So strong in the meta, you can see him already early game. Level 2, level 3, he all ins on Fizz. With Ignite, Corrupting Potion, almost always. It's the tick damage. Burn over time, usually a flash W with Ignite. Fizz passive is burn, Corrupting burn, and it all stacks up. Get the Fizz, get the Silas flash, grab that kill for ourselves, plus 200 gold. And Fizz is still easily one of the most underrated champions for solo queue climbing. I don't know why more people don't play it. It's kind of hard. The first 20 or 30 games, you'll struggle to understand the lanes, especially when you verse hard champions. Say you enter a Victor, say you enter something like a Lissandra. Yeah, it's pretty hard to play into these um, mages in the early game. You're going to get dicked down a lot of the time. You're going to lose a lot of health. The key is understanding the spacing, the cooldowns of the abilities and spells, and knowing your all-in windows. Once you understand that, guys, Fizz hard counters the picks. But you have to... You have to understand the all-in ratios. Um, the rune page, by the way, I'll put it up. It's electrocute. Mango's been going this rune page for fuck. It feels like decades now. Same rune page, cooldown reduction. Um, for your adapt instead of the adaptive AP. Mango plays on the Chinese super server. For those that don't know, streams over on Huya. Maybe do you? One of the Chinese streaming platforms. He's actually a very, he's actually a very famous stream. Obviously, he's hit top ten on the super server before, over a thousand points. Guy's a bit of a freak show. Mid beast, have you versed this guy? I did verse him. Did I lose? Yes, no surprise. Um, he did. Fizz into Talia wasn't very good for me back then because the, the the E wasn't like it is now, so that's probably why. But enough about me. Fizz buffs, they're huge. Essentially, if you have 1k AP, your E does an extra 150 damage. Which, yeah, it seems... Ooh, nice dodge by the Silas. I love that trade. And you can see, you have to be extremely smart with how you oh. use your E on Fizz. Otherwise, it's doomed. But don't... If you have a pick like Fizz, like Echo up your sleeve, and they pick an immobile mage, guys, don't let them get away with picking these mages in solo queue. Abuse them, please. Um, be cautious, though, when picking Fizz into things like Renata, Blitzcrank. Um, a lot of supports make Fizz's life hell in the late game, so you have to understand that. And he wants to try and get, get a 1-for-1 get a one one on the tower here. Kindred hovering, though, very smart. A lot of boosters in China, usually playing things like the Kindred. Probably one of the most... The E. We're gonna have to flash. And he ends up going down, and that's a bit of an overextension there. Plays around the Kane who has tier against the goddamn lethal tempo kindred. Mistake. You can't afford to make these in your own games. Luckily, the wave is perfectly situated. And we'll rush back into lane. Now, Mango is going through a couple of different build errors um, with the Fizz. I've been following him for a, like, a, a long time now. Um. It used to be like Lucidity Boot, Hourglass. Now, recently, he just rushes Ludens as fast as humanly possible. This Kindred is so fair. He just rushes Ludens with the Dark Seal as fast as possible. W, Ignite gets it. There you go. See ya. That burn damage gets it. Yeah, he just gets Dark Seal, Ludens, and then just sends it. He loves the flat penetration you get, and the extra wave clear allows him. Ma what, dude? <laughs> Mango Fish is it gets so high elo because he's so consistent in farm on a champion like Fizz, where people normally CS five per minute. He averages eight to nine CS per minute on an assassin like Fizz. <clears throat> Everyone knows the most consistent thing in solo queue. It's getting enough farm that your champion has the items to carry. It's that lost chapter. Moves back in. Doesn't get a control ward. Maximizing as much. 
gold in the inventory as possible. Always get a sweeper though. Um, Mango was notorious. He's one of the first players I saw that was starting level 1 sweeper. And he would cheese out early wards. And then he would look for the level 2 all in on the first wave. And people, he, a lot of the time he'd get kills. Especially against lower elo players who didn't understand other mechanics. Not much chance of an all in. Doesn't have ignite, so it's not really possible. So it's a shove and roam angle. When in doubt on Fizz, where you can't get a solo, just shove the wave and roam. If you can't shove the wave, sometimes just give the wave and roam, bro. You're a snowball assassin. You're not there to sit in lane, not being able to get kill threat, and just sitting and taking it. Just coin flip roam a lot of the times. Alt, it hits. E, hits. Free kill. Take the wave. Take the wave. Take the wave. Dog champion. Get out of here, boy. With the mid lane. With the mid Probably don't take farm from Nasus though. They could AFK you. We have a feeling this enemy Kindred is a bit of a boost up. For those of you looking to pick up Fizz, the mechanics you need to know is E into Flash. You need to know Q onto minions, and when you're queuing, you R, it animation cancels the R, and it'll come out instantly. They're pretty much the biggest mechanics you need to know. I'm trying to think of other mechanics, like, there's not many other mechanics. It's more about E, team fight a little bit, hourglass, by the time hourglass is up, your E's back up. Simple as that. As the E buff, by the way, it's gonna allow you. It's gonna allow you to wave clear so much smoother. Let's see. Doesn't quite have enough there, but you'll see at level 9, we can one shot the backline creeps. And we'll be CSing at 10 per minute from then. This CSing is actually very clean. You just need to know how to situate the wave correctly. And go, got ult again, up top again. Looking for the Nasus Wither. Always need sweeper for these plays, right? Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. He wants to go, he wants to go. He's trying to block, you can see where he's... Look, look, keep it. Keep an eye on his mouse. Alt gets flashed. He wants this kill so badly. Grab that up. Hold the E. Kane dies, this guy is absolutely... This guy's borders the count, 100%. And we've got 2,000 gold, we're gonna get the Ludens. And Fizz just simply is not pickable in pro play. Coordination and good itemization makes it impossible for these picks to be played in pro. Okay? Um, it has to be a last pick. And even then, if people itemize correctly, they get the right magic resist, they get the right stopwatches, people tank the ult. Stuff like this just makes it near impossible to play. It's not completely impossible though. Z at the moment popular, Victor popular, Syndra making a comeback, even Ari. Like, Fizz does so well until these meta, a lot of these meta mages, guys. It's a mage meta, and just abuse them with this Fizz pick if you can. On the hunt, he really wants to try and find the Kindred. He finds the Kindred. This Kindred is so. F oh my god, that damage, though. He wants to look for maybe a E flash, gets it. Great hourglass by the Kindred, and she's not gonna die. He has to land the ult. No shot. Does he get it? He does. Gets the kill. Is Riven able to get it? We have the triumph, remember? Silas comes in and he goes down. But he gets the bounty onto the Kindred. Ludin's done. Lucidity Boots done. Now you're looking for the Hourglass and the Magi's. Don't go Lich Bane on Fizz, guys. It's about the raw AP, especially because they just buff the AP ratios on the champion. When they buff AP ratios, it means things like the Lich Bane are just a lot less efficient. It's fun, and you can build it later on, especially if you want to sell boots or do something crazy, but... Oh, this might work. This might work.
Can eat a couple of the plates. Into topside farm in the Nasus. Maokai's here though. Oh, he wanted to try and look for that so badly. He does have ultimate. Wouldn't be surprised if he looks for a QR on the minions into Maokai. Let's see. R, Lance, E, he's dead. Power. Don't let people disrespect you on a tower like this. If they're there, you dive. You don't hesitate, you dive instantly. Don't let them think. Whenever you think in your mind, do I have the damage? Just go for it and understand and calculate behind afterwards, you know? Do I have the damage? Maybe. Look for the all-in. If you make a mistake, assess. Eventually, you'll understand the numbers. You see how it eat Oh, Silas. I've never played Bloody Fizz before. And we're just going to duke it out. Order it. We will not get the kill. You can see, you have to be so patient. And that Silas able to get a 1v1. That's craziness. We don't have any Grievous Wounds. Yikes. That's, that's rough. That's rough. Silas had Conqueror fully stacked. Got two Ws off. I think it's just done. I think Kindred's gonna get a wit's end. This is really bad news. If we can't get the one tap on Kindred or like force the all, it's just doomed. Kindred's such a good 1v9er. Yep. So not good. Let's see if we can show you the, the, the QR mechanic. E, just gonna max range R fade away. Now just gonna look, try and pick up the Kindred. Kindred does, maybe still has ult. Doesn't. Gets the shutdown. Still hunting now. Silas no flash. Finds the Silas, but he's gone really topside, and we'll just go look for the dive with the stopwatch. Mango Fish is one of the best stopwatch. He'll make sure to use this stopwatch active to get a dive or a kill, and then look for the hourglass upgrade, right? And you can already start to feel the that you get it. You do get a lot of extra damage on this E already in the mid game. Let's oh, look for the tower. E to drop tower aggro. If you've noticed, Riot is slowly getting rid of like tower mechanics for some champions. The Akali dodge. Um, what else recently did they change with the tower mechanics? Can't think. There was another champion that could dodge tower shots. They took it away. Fizz still is one of the only champions that you can kind of grab aggro, play around with the E and take it off. It's pretty broken if you know how to maximize it. For trading on the tower especially. Heading back with 1300. Let's see if he upgrades. Is he going to do it? Is he going to get the Medjai's? He gets the Hourglass purchase. That's such a shame. I would have loved to have seen a Medjai's. Three stack Medjai's, com pure confidence. But instead, we get the upgrade. And of course, you guys know, because Stopwatch costs 750 gold nowadays, it's ludicrous, the inflation on this item. You essentially just lose that active instantly, and it's actually so annoying to do. Thankfully, our E cooldown is, what, 4.5 seconds or something at the moment? Not able to land the ultimate. Should sweep into the river. Someone needs to pick up that bot lane farm. He wants Nasus to go get it. He wants blue buff, switch to top side. Nasus go bot. This Nasus is li like, what is this Nasus doing? Look at him. He should be farming bot. He wants a team fight on Herald. It's gross. Riven? Can't get him. When you're playing Assassins, unique flank angles is essentially what you look for. And when you review yourself, like, I always recommend people to review their own games. I know a lot of people don't know what to look for, but like, if you're playing an Assassin like Fizz, 
look at every single team fight and just stop the, the 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 tape and say is there a different angle i could take this fight from and how could i get there that's what you should be looking for it's all about the angles to come in from the side when they're not expecting they're not watching you get a better angle you get a better path into the carries you can essentially do that for every champion but things like fizz echo it's usually the best Indrid wants to take a 1v1. Should be able to force the ultimate. Quite enough. Pop the ignite to deny the healing, and we're gonna eat. Don't even need to into the stopwatch. Let's see if we can survive. Gonna cute. E cooldown again. Flash. E. Oh my god. He got so much from that, but wasn't able to live. Unfortunately, that means our Magi stacks are doomed. And he'll make his way towards the death cap now. Ludens, Hourglass, death cap. With the Medjai's if you can afford it. That's, that's Mango Fish's build every single time. Sometimes if they don't have enough magic exist, he'll go the, he'll, he'll go the Lich Bane. Um, but usually the Void Staff is up next. Because they've stacked magic exist because he's obviously normally snowballing the game. Yeah. Thank Christ. Cool, huh? We haven't seen much of Silas lately. He's kind of struggling in this mid game. We need to buckle down, I think, and get a bit of farm up. Would be nice. Coming, coming, coming. Ultimate! Lands. Kaisa's dead. dead. Kindred is dead. Beautiful. This feels so nice to play at this point in the game, chat. What's in 20? He wants to get another charge. I think he's a bit greedy, but... I don't think he fully sticks around. Just on guard for his team. Dragon in 20 seconds. He has ult back up actually. He wants to look for one fight. If he's able to get one more good fight. Oh, that was a bad ultimate. He's going to be able to dodge it out though. I think he's 100% dead. His E's not back up in time. E again. Oh. Yeah. Oh my, he wants to, he wa he needs one kill to get his, his death cap on, on the death. He's happy to go for a one for one. E? Riven, come here, big dog. Has to use his E to get out. Wanna fade away the Riven? I think Riven dies to burn. There you go. Right. Do you see how Triumph is so essential in these fights? It kind of keeps him going. Ultimate, max range, could hit. Oh! Tilted on these ults, bro. Missed two crucials. And I think you just let it... Yeah. You just let the Nasus go for that one for one. And, we're, dude, we're sitting on so much gold. I don't... I, I think sticking around is a bad... I think this is a really bad call. Thankfully, Fizz is such a bullshit champion. Whoa, 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 whoa! Nice! Uh, shut down. It's fine. We get the de <laughs> <laughs> Greedy, but we get the death cap. Mango is one of the best users of E... Using E fast. I see a lot of noobs use E fast, like when you E E on Fizz. Um, it's very inaccurate because the AoE range is not there. It's like single target. It's tiny. But if you can, it, it, it's like twice as fast as a normal E, so it catches people by surprise. As he does make his way into the Void Staff. He wants to go for the Nash. Should be a Baron pick into Nash. 
And he is sitting on like 8 to 9 CS per minute still. Doing wonderfully. Even after how many like stuff ups. I definitely think playing slow paced music when you play Fizz, by the way, like Beethoven and Mozart, things like this, Tchaikovsky help. If you play like. Oh, if you play hyped, too hyped up. What the hell was that Ezreal? Oh, it must have been stolen. If you play too hyped up music, it just baits you into going way too deep. Trust me on that. Play music to the playstyle that you need, that you know that you like, uh, will help your issues, I think. Some people don't like music in game, but I lo I think music in game helps me. Let's see what we can find here. Looking for the ribbon, we get the ribbon one tap. Kindred flash, stopwatch, into the E. It's a shame we didn't get an E into the stopwatch. Flash out, does the kindred burn? Kindred? Triumph comes in, Kindred's able to live, and we burn our flash. Oh no, Ezreal's gonna die. This Kindred's really good. And uh, yeah. You gotta try and use the E first, then wait a second, Hourglass, Hourglass up, E again. You get two E's in a fight, it's completely broken. You can see there, he's only able to use it once. Um, not enough. Surprised he isn't selling this Dark Seal for a Blasting one. I guess I'll let, I can let a man dream for the Medjays. As they look for the Baron Rush. Go, 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 go! Oh my god, they do it fast. Go, man, go. The waves are really good. Everybody get a pick now at 23. Heavy drop two inhibs. See his kindred pathing bot side. Finds them. Ultimate. Riven cock blocks it. All eyes onto the kindred carry and we do get it. That's exactly what we needed. It's beautiful stopwatch. Gonna have enough for E as well. I think he will go down. But hopefully the team's able to clean up. They are. We get the Void Staff, baby. And you can see the target focus. A lot of people might have been distracted by the Ribbon in front. You have to target focus their carries. Simple as that. It's actually a big thing that low elo players do, is their target focus is just shit. Um. No, like it... Could be no, like, it shouldn't even be a question. Don't target the tanks. Don't target the support in front of you. They're distracting you for a reason. Here we come. No elixir. We're saving up. 550 AP. Looking pretty good here. This number's a bit lackluster, I'll be honest. Usually Mango's a little bit higher, 230, 240. But I'll forgive it as he looks to hit level 16 off of this crap. Hey, buddy. There we go. RE will assassinate anyone on their team, I think, from here, guys. Not looking for the Riven, looking for somebody else to begin with. R's in, it completely zones the Riven. E is flashed. Everything is actually flashed, and I think a full commit. I was gonna say it's a little bit risky, but it's fine. It works out. Ultimate back up in 20 seconds. It's disgusting the cooldown of this ability. Nasus gonna force the Kindred, I think. Yep. Now if I CC. Find the Silas, trying to find the Kindred. The Kindred's already dead. It's like a completely one team fight. E-E. E-Boss. up. 
Because he had made up with a Trinus is here. He really wants to try and find the Maokai with the QR, let's see. Ah? Oh. They haven't been the cleanest of ours this game, let's be honest. This tower is bloody agitated. It's only Riven remaining. He Boom. takes the Riven, 19 kill banger. Ladies and gents, Mango Fish, it's always a pleasure doing his games. It makes me want to play Fizz and I just int. Yes, Until next time, boys, thank you for watching. Uh, See you in the next one. Peace.